Hey, welcome. So glad that we can get together just to share a little bit about God's word and how some things are touching on our hearts. Uh, I love the idea that no matter where we are in the world, we can still connect. And God's word is not defined by a church building, four walls, or even where you are right now. It is us and lives in us so that we can be the hands and the feet of Jesus. And so today, I want to take a moment and to dive into 1 John chapter 3. So if you've got a Bible and you want to go ahead and pull that out or use your phone just to connect with us, uh, maybe even pause this right now. And we're going to be reading in 1 John 3, verse 16 through 18. And then I want to dive into verse 23 uh, as well. This means a lot to me, uh, mainly because um, John, as he's writing this, is kind of this back and forth battle. He talks about uh, good and evil and unrighteousness and righteousness and love and hate. And so my question to you today is this, what do you do with the love that God has given to you? So in 1 John 3, verse 16 through 18 says this, we know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. So we ought to give up our lives for our brothers and our sisters. If someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need, but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in that person? Dear children, let us not merely say that we love each other, but let us show the truth of our actions. And so when we think about the comparison and the contrast between righteousness and unrighteousness and love and hatred and these different things, when you look at what John is saying here, he says that we know what real love is and his name is Jesus. When you think about what love is, it is exactly that name, it is Jesus. And so when he goes, dives deeper and he says that we ought to give up our lives for one another, I think that is a challenge that many of us can never even imagine. Now, maybe if you're a mom or a dad uh, and something was to go wrong with your child, maybe you would say, take my place. Like I would be the one to sacrifice myself. But often for our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ or even just our fellow neighbors, we don't raise our hand to sacrifice ourselves. But Jesus did just that. He was willing to sacrifice himself for us, for the ones that do not deserve it. But then he goes on to say in verse 18, dear children, I love that God speaks to us from a dad's heart to his children. Let us not merely say that we love one another. So let us not just wave at each other and say that we we believe in you or that we want you to be blessed or to just say, hey, we love you, brother, or we love you, sister. But let us actually do something about that. And so if you've been paying attention to our Good News Wednesdays, I did share verse 18 in one of those Wednesdays. And I just wanted to just reiterate the fact that uh, in life, in Christianity, in faith, the more that we say we love each other, it is good. But when we do something about it, that's when it makes a difference. And so at our church and in your life, what are you doing not only to say, God loves me, God cares for me, I love other people, but what are you actually doing about it? Does it look like reaching out and helping somebody? Does it look like touching someone's life with a gift or maybe even financially or blessing people that are in great need, especially during this time of COVID-19? I don't know what it is for you, but when I look at the word of God and I look at what John says to us, he says, this is what real love is, it's Jesus. That's the real love. So we can share the love of Jesus. And if you have enough, if you have an abundance of, you ought to be giving it to those who know that they need it. And so when he says that, he says, if you don't do that, how can the love of God be in that person? And so I think it's a challenge for us all. And then verse 23, he says this, and then this is my commandment. He, we must believe in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. That's our challenge whether you're part of Ignite Church, whether you're part of another church, our challenge is to love one another. Not only say it, but do something about it. Hope you have a great day and to show the love of God to someone.